YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a drugstore haul. I went to Rite Aid over the weekend and I picked up, whoo, before everything falls. I picked up some really cool things that I was excited to try and some of them are amazing finds. One of them so far is a letdown, but I haven't used all the products yet, so it's a brand. So I'm just gonna pull out randomly. Uh, the first thing, I got two things from Biore, or Biore, I have no idea how to say this name. This is the Biore Free, Free Something Pores, because Rite Aid puts a sticker on it, I have no idea what it says. And it is a warming anti-blackhead cleanser, opens pores and targets blackheads. It has salicylic like, acid treatment, and it's oil free. Um, I used this once already a few days ago when I got it, because we did like a pampering day in my house, my husband and I. And it really is warm. I was a little skeptic, but lately I've been getting a lot of blackheads on my nose and that's never happened to me before. So I have no idea what's going on with my nose. But um, it tells you just kind of wet your face, dry your hands, and rub it and put it on your face. And it was warm. I loved it. I can't wait to try it again. Very excited. My second thing from BYU was their famous nose and kind of face strips. Um, this is the, I just have the eight, the eight pack and it has a limited edition packaging. The packaging's cute for them, but I use it and I think maybe two came off and a lot of nose hair. That's probably TMI, but everyone grows hair and mine just happens to get beach fuzz on my nose. I don't know. And then I got one of the Freeman Facial Clay Masks. This is chocolate and strawberry, and it is supposed to moisturize and tone your skin. My skin, I don't know if it felt moisturized, but I did get hungry afterwards because it smells just like chocolate. I used it with a foundation brush, so I kind of felt fancy at home, and it smelled just like chocolate. It was, mmm, it's amazing. And it's just, it kind of looks like doo doo brand. Then I bought two clearance items because why not and everything was cheap anyway and why not go for deals. So this is the Fit Me powder and this is in the shade 340. Now this color does not match my skin tone at all. It is like five or six shades darker than me but I've been using it for the last two days to bronze. I did it today but I've been at work since early and then I got two blushes now I am way late on the bouncy the bouncy blush train I've seen so many videos talking about them but for some reason I just kind of never jumped on it my first one I got is in peach satin it's just really pretty and it is peach like the name says and then the second one I got is coffee cake. And lately I've just been kind of wanting more of like a softer look because I've been kind of going heavier on my lips sometimes. Well, all the time, except today I'm wearing a nude. Ah, oh, I never wear nudes. And it's just really pretty. They're really kind of disheveled because I wore both of them on two different days. I just take a angled brush. I just kind of bounce it. Didn't sh bouncy blush. <laughs> crickets and I just kind of pounce it on my feet. This uh, is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in the color Calling Your Buff. My favorite nude eyeliner is the Rimmel and I it was 99 cents so I can't. Then I got another Wet n Wild and this is, was also 99 cents and this is in the color Blind Date and it's just it's such a me color it's just dark and vampy and I don't care I wear dark and vampy colors all year round even in the summer it's like 500 degrees and I'm wearing a deep purple lip oh I got another wet and wild and this is in the color mink brown and I've been really loving browns lately I think it's just because I bought lime Cron Salem lip velveteen and all of a sudden I'm all over browns so another brown for me it's really nice um and then the last no i got three more things to go through i got i think this is from the same brand yes this is both maybelline the first one is a maybelline matte in the color touch of spice 
and I've worn this I think uh Sunday or something today is Monday and it's it was really pretty color um just beautiful I am really surprised on the quality of drugstore makeup recently I haven't always just bought a lot of drugstore makeup so I'm just really excited YouTube is making me venture out and explore the world of makeup. And then I got also the color Rum Richie 280. And I have not worn this one yet, but I'm really excited to. I think I might wear this one tomorrow for work. So Rum Richie. And then the last thing I got was another item from Clearance All May. I bought maybe one or two things from each. Um, drugstore brand throughout a span of years and um all my has never really been on my list to try i don't know i bought one time those like shade like put it on your face and it magically turns your shade i tried one of those and i hated it so i just kind of felt like one thing did me wrong all all May does me wrong but this was in clearance and it was super cheap and this is a All May Smart Shade Butter Kiss. I don't know why everything has to be smart with um, All May, but it's just a nice, like, reddish brown, mauve. I suck at describing colors. It's either brown, red, or pink. All other colors do not exist to me. Um, but it's really pretty, so swatches should be around somewhere. So that is really it. That's okay, so that is everything that I purchased from Rite Aid over the weekend. Uh, comment below what is your must-have holy grail drugstore products. I am very excited to kind of just keep looking through and discovering new products that aren't so much money. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And... Um, Tweet me, Instagram me, everything is in the same name. I think it's Maryland underscore Lena on my Instagram. And I think Twitter is the same thing. Everything will be below in the down bar. So thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Mwah.